probably give himself the right to believe that he could be winning the fight. Juan Manuel Marquez has scratched for opportunities to land in return and has thrown a lot more punches, but hasn't landed that many more. And Harold, how do you have it through 11? Jim, I'll still go with the busier guy. 105, 102, seven rounds to four, seven rounds to four. One, Manuel Marquez. I think that Marquez is just doing more, and I don't think Norwood's doing enough. No right hands at all from Norwood the whole fight. For God's sake, he's hardly throwing any punches. At least Mar Marquez is taking a fight to him, trying to fight, making a fight, and throwing punches. I think Marquez deserves it on aggressiveness. I can't, Larry? I can't disagree with you, Harold. I have it 6-4 and 1, but I guess somebody else could give me an argument why Norwood should retain his title because Marquez didn't do enough. And Norwood did land the bigger punches. Indeed, and in fact, while I'm not sure I believe this should be the decision, I'd probably go for Marquez also. Let me be the first to say I'm in no way surprised if Norwood gets this decision and retains his title. In terms of the future, Marquez might be a more entertaining fighter if he had an opponent who would stand there and fight him. He's been a very entertaining fighter in many of his appearances in the forum in Los Angeles over the course of the past seven years. But there he was lighting guys up with spectacular knockouts. They weren't edgy, dodgy southpaws like Freddie Norwood. Yeah, Freddie Norwood's job is not to make Marquez look good either. And he's managed that. I don't know how good he's made himself look in the process, though. Right? Looks as though it was a secondary goal. Hard left hand by Norwood as Marquez reached in, looking for an opportunity to land. Another low contact round. Another clash of heads. Norwood is good at, at making his opponents miss, but he just doesn't make them pay often enough for it. No, he doesn't. Tackle. Leg tackle. Fascinating to see how three judges choose to score this one. To 112, and Stanley Christodoulo has it 115 to 111 for the winner by unanimous decision and still undefeated champion, Freddy Little Hagler Norwood. Sekarang, ronde ke-12, Christian dan Marquez. Ya, baru kelihatan para penonton lebih berani memberikan support kepada Chris John karena kemenangan Chris John sudah di depan mata akibat pemotongan angka dua kali oleh wasit kita lihat pukulan-pukulan dari Marquez membentur rendah ke bagian yang dilarang satu pukat kanan Marquez Dapat tekanan tadi Christian dari Marquez. Ya, Marquez. Ah, balasan Christian. Ah, berkat kanan. Ada perlawan Christian untuk melarini tekanan lawan. Ya. Yeah. Masih ketat persaingan keduanya di ronde terakhir ini. Ternyata tenaga Christian di ronde ke-12 ini kembali lagi. Second yeah. win-nya muncul. No quiero volver ahí, no quiero volver ahí. Oh, kiri, Christian. Iya. 
Mira, hook, canan, Chris Jones. Hukir Gijon dan ya Tangkulan terjadi harus dipisah oleh Wasit Guillermo Perez Minida Nah perkata Masih fight keduanya Di saat-saat akhir pertarungan mereka Bukan dan telat dari Marquez dan apabila Chris John terjatuh atau salah satu penyu terjatuh pada detik terakhir Maka tidak akan dihitung lagi Maka berlakulah istilah save by the bell Ya dan sudah 10 detik terakhir sekarang ini Musang ya. Artinya tidak akan berakhir dengan KO Dengan demikian pertandingan ini dimanakan dengan angka mutlak Anonymous decision oleh Chris John again and uh, he got the same smile back but uh, not the same response from Mayweather Marquez that's as good as he's going to land but Mayweather pulls away just takes the sting away from the puncher but uh, don't see him demoralizing this man he's oh, that lovely left hook again natural spreads the feet there's the right hand. Also for Marquez, oh, look at the right hand. I just he saw the, saw it in the legs there. He was shaking again then. Yeah, talent. Just the see the slightest move Marquez makes. Maybe the sense is it pulls himself away. The punch comes.
just can't get through. Elbows tucked down. Right hand, and he appreciated that Mayweather. That was nice to see, as Marquez had one bit of success. No, he's in need of something. Marquez will not stop trying, but uh, he's not even really mounting any worthwhile attacks now. Oh, right hand! That was a big shot from Mayweather. Because what he's doing... He's just losing by a mile. These right hands, though, Jim. All you can do, you can admire his effort. I think you just have to more so admire the quality of the fellow in front of him. Now, those were kind of looping punches. If he'd shortened those, if he'd been a little bit straighter, they may have done the damage. Well, Marquez's reputation is safe and secure. We know what he's... Left hook. Thunderous left uppercut that he landed. And a good left hook there by Marquez. Bradley going side to side, trying to use lateral movement. Another left hook by Bradley. And now he attacks and takes Marquez into the corner. With reluctance because of the counter punching right there. This fight is going to Tim to Bradley's favor because he's controlling the river. Hard shot by Marquez. By a fight of skirmishes. He isn't working hard enough. The Bradley fight. I mean, the way when he hits Bradley, even oh, low. Hard to reach pin for selling the pay per view. There's a different kind of pressure on him. Just overshot him. There's a right hand by Marquez. And Bradley answers at this point in the fight. Jim, you met. Oh, oh. And look at Bradley's reaction. Hard right at home. Marquez was hurt from Bradley's right hand. Going to give more credit to the power shots as they will give more credit to the simulation. Good right hand by Marquez in that extent. Oh. And Bradley almost knocks Marquez down. Timothy. 